Hey guys, Jeff is back. I'm back with League Racing F1 2021, and today we have Jetta. This is my first time racing at Jetta, the new uh, Jetta Saudi Arabia track. Uh, this is my first time racing in game. I've obviously done some time trial laps and practice as well, just to get ready for this race. But in terms of jumping on here with other people, this is the first time I've done it. So interested to see how this is going to go because this is the kind of track that. It's not exactly Monaco, right, where it's so easy to have carnage. But this is a track that is absolutely really high speed, but also pretty tight. So, uh, you know, there's the potential for carnage here at this track. So I'm excited about this race. I'm interested to see how it's going to go. And I'm just going to jump right in and do it. And I will warn you beforehand that this is an exciting race, I think. There, is, there were absolutely stretches of it that weren't as exciting but for the most part this is an exciting race fun race so i'm glad to be getting into it you see here my what was my second run in qualifying i went out with mediums first uh, i don't remember the logic on that but i did it and then i go out on softs on the second lap so that explains why i'm so far up on my second lap here i'm looking like i'm going to be at least uh 1.3 seconds up maybe uh maybe not so much as that but Pretty close up there. So you see me uh, going uh, down the last stretch here. Uh, it's one point, almost a second and a half. So end up at 129.7. That puts me at P9 at that point. I go out, of course, for a third lap. And I, I think I timed this pretty well. I'm down to P12 by this point. I think I timed my lap pretty well. Uh, I'm certainly going to finish it. Uh, I'll finish my lap right before we, we go into the into the end of the qualifying. So I think I timed it pretty well. And early up in the lap, I'm I'm decently far up. It looks like I'm a uh, tenth and a half up, hoping for more. And so I'm excited about this lap. And this, so in preparation for this track, I had not done much driving at Jeddah. I mean, when it came out, I... I didn't do any time trial stuff at all. I mean, I, d I hadn't raced on the track. So uh, I think at one point, maybe I was trying to get a good lap. And so I ran some time trial stuff. But for the most part, I hadn't done this. So I kind of had to learn the track. And you see me there with the track limits violation. Lab gets invalidated. It's unfortunate. I think I was going to get some serious time. I mean, I think I definitely could have gotten into the top 10. Maybe could have gotten into like the 7-8 range, potentially. So... Uh, it's unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. Anyway, I hadn't practiced much in this track, but I, I did some practice. And honestly, I feel like I got better during the race, uh, which we will we will certainly see. But going into the start here, you know it's kind of tight. So I was just focused on being careful. Fortunately, Maple Bro did not cut across me, which was nice. But I just go way too wide. There was literally nobody around me. I just went way too wide right there and uh, got damage. I went into the wall. I hit my wing. I end up hitting Rush Puppy right there as well, but I don't think that was my fault. I was just driving. Uh, but I've certainly got front wing damage at this point. So if without the front wing damage, I would be sitting pretty. I'm P8 right now. Um, I've gotten a nice start. So I'm optimistic that I can make something happen here. Uh, you see it, Jeff, pop up, and it says, do you want to change your strategy I say yes we're gonna pit lap one which is unfortunate but hey sometimes it's just the way it goes and again at this point I just I'm worried that I've ruined my race of course uh you know it's still early but I am somewhat worried by this you see rush puppy get by me I've got some serious issues with the wing there's no way I could race on this I considered it for a minute actually I was hoping maybe it wasn't that bad and I could race on it uh but I absolutely had to get this replaced so um so uh, it just it's one of those you have to bite the bullet and just go for it. So, so you saw me check there also to see what tires they were going to put me on. I was pretty sure I could make it on one set of mediums for the rest of the race. I did not want them to put me on hards because the game absolutely does that if you don't check it. Uh, so you see me going to the pits here. 8.3 seconds in the box, which is not terrible, but... You know, it's a six-second add-on, which is unfortunate. So I come out of the pits. I'm in P17. Two guys behind me pitted as well. Uh, fast forward there to lap four. Uh, we're going up this last straight. A couple other guys pit as well. So I'm, I'm putting in some decent times, I will say. 
Uh, I felt like I was gaining a little bit of time on the guys in front of me, though, of course, I'm at a huge disadvantage here. But going into lap five, I'm up to P14. And remember, as long as I don't make any more mistakes, I'm not going to have to pit again. So again, fast forward to the end of this lap. A couple guys pit there as well. So going into lap six, I am P12. And you have to assume that it's only up from here. Uh, because guys are only going to pit. So as long as I keep it clean and just drive smart, I should be able to get at least P12. So fast forward a couple laps there. I get within a second of Juzzy. And this is the point at which, first of all, I had been on fresh mediums. So I felt like I was really carving the track up a little bit. And also, I just felt like I really just absolutely dialed it in during this race. I mean, I've said before, if you've watched my videos, there are just certain, there are certain races, and this is not specific tracks because I have good races and bad races at every track. There, of course, are some tracks that I don't like, but uh, for the most part, you have good races and bad races, no matter if you like the track or not. This was a race, I felt like I just had the car on rails. Probably, I was in a groove by the third or fourth lap, and... I it's hard to describe what it is but I was just feeling really good and I'll show you up here there's this one specific corner that I was picking up so much time on uh, but uh, we'll get to that in just a second but you see me here get within DRS range of Juzzy Juzzy's the guy who uh, depending on the track he can be a little faster than I am I think um, I think I was a little faster than he was today so that's absolutely going to be helpful for me here um, but I felt good about being within DRS range. I've got a decent amount of ERS and I just got to take advantage of some opportunities here and try to try to get past them. So this is up here where you're seeing the corner. This is the corner. I gained a ton of time. You see there, I was six tenths down. After we get through the corner, I'm what, roughly four and a half tenths down. I just was, I was just in a groove, man. Uh, that specific corner, I was gaining two tenths every lap so you see me go inside on Jesse there and trying to give him room on the outside you see him get a little bit behind um I I you know let him know my intentions here I went over to the right side of the track the last thing I want is to be weaving on the straight and him make contact with me you see him get in front of me there I decided to dive down the inside he fortunately gives me the room I go for a little switch back there can't really get it he's got a little more pace out of the turn than I do uh, but I am still within range, so still feeling good about that. That was a nice little piece of driving that we exchanged there. And Jesse's a guy that I've raced against before, wheel to wheel like this, and have always had good experiences with. Uh, so, well, for the most part, um, I think I've hit him a couple times. But for the most part, we have good experiences, and when we don't, it's my fault, not his. You see me go to the outside here, so we're going too wide through this banked corner. I'm worried about hitting the wall a little bit, but managed to keep it out. And then, and he he's right behind me. He's right on my tail. And I might have squeezed him a little bit going into that turn, but he backed off, which I think was prudent on his part. Uh, but that was a really decent bit of racing that we had there together for, what was that, a full lap at least? Maybe two laps? I think for sure it was one lap. You see me again just scraping that corner almost picking up some serious time on Jesse behind me I was just in awe honestly of the time that I was not in awe that's the wrong word I was ecstatic about the time that I was getting on that on that turn uh, you see him back off a bit there I think he's probably worried about contact but he is about to get DRS on me again and I fully expect that he's going to make a run at me going into this first corner. So I just have to be smart. You see me make my one defensive move there. And he goes inside. Um, I try to stay really wide through the corner there. He fortunately gives me the room going to the second corner and kind of takes the same path that I did when our situations were reversed. He sort of goes with the switchback. Um, I might have squeezed him a bit there too now that I look at it. But maybe not. I don't know. That's a close one. He did not report it, I will say, so he must not have been too offended by it. But yeah, man, at this point, I am starting to feel a little bit of wear on the tires because remember that I put, they are fresh mediums, but I did put mediums on on the first lap, so going into the second lap. So I am starting to feel a little bit of wear. I am sliding around a little bit at this point in the race, but I feel pretty confident that 
if I can just stay clean, I should be at least P7. And I will note that J-Rack in front of me, I've noticed that I've been gaining some time on him, and he's also got a three-second penalty. So I feel really good about being able to catch J-Rack as well, if, again, if I could just keep it clean. Uh, gain some time through that corner, as I did all race, which we love. But I'm now within five seconds of J-Rack. We've got, what is this, roughly three and a half laps to go. We've got Juzzy and Alex behind me. I know that they're going to be trading some DRS, so it they may be able to catch me, but I'll do my best to stay out of there. You see Maple Bro going into the pits. He's got nine seconds of penalties, and I'm passing him right now. So I'm potentially looking at P5, I think. Actually, there, it ended up being for P6 because there was a, there was a glitch with somebody, but... Juzzy almost got very close to me there, almost got past, but just just didn't have the the juice to to catch me there going into turn one. So, but I will say that those guys are still in range. Juzzy and Alex are still absolutely in range. With one of them having DRS at every uh, at every DRS zone, all it's going to take is me is me making an error, and they will suddenly be right in right behind me. Uh, and J-Rack picks up another three-second penalty. So J-Rack now has six seconds of penalties. He is four seconds ahead of me. And by this point in the race, I fast-forwarded a bit there just because it was just driving. But I broke away from Alex and Juzzy a little bit. J-Rack is within three seconds in front of me, and he's got six seconds of penalties. So at this point, I, this uh, what looks like a P5 is all mine. So... Uh, I think it's a really nice recovery after my idiotic mistake on the first lap. And as far as I am behind Rush Puppy, I don't even really know that that hurt me that much. Finished a good 14 seconds behind Rush Puppy, so uh, it didn't hurt me. But I, I thought it was a great recovery, really nice. Ended up P6 because 11-D-11, um, he, he actually finished first. But yeah, great race, I thought.